Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.4, the latest update by Apple which has just been released yesterday. Now this is a really important update for a lot of people. It's not a really big update, it has some really nice new features, but it's not like iOS 15.4. But it's really important because it will be the last update for a lot of people that won't be able to update their device to iOS 16 because they won't be supported. Of course, there will be smaller updates in the future, but don't expect any new big update for iOS 15. But there are problems as well. A lot of people are mainly reporting one problem, the battery health on their iPhone dropping after updating to iOS 15.5. Well, let's see what's that all about. Let's talk about that, of course, the battery in general on iOS 15.5, and of course, what this update will bring to the users. First of all, let's just quickly talk about iOS 15.5 in general. This update is quite interesting. It has some nice new features, like the ability to add your driver's license or state ID on the wallet app just by tapping of course the plus button right here you will have driver's license or state id currently only available in arizona but of course it should be supported on more states and countries in the future also on the wallet app now you will have two new buttons to request and send cash as well and apple has actually changed here you can see on the app drawer right here on the iMessage app, we have now Apple Cash instead of Apple Pay. Going here to the podcast app, if you go to one of your podcasts that you're listening to here, what you will find, if you tap the three dots right there at the top, you will have your settings, of course, and then you will have here the ability to change the automatically download right here. If you go, you will have a bunch of new settings. So you will have the ability to keep these off, of course, but you will also have the ability to choose what you want to download on your device. So let's say a latest episode, two, three or five latest episodes, last 24 hours, last 14 days or whatever you like. These are new settings that Apple has added to their podcast app and of course are really, really interesting and probably very useful for a lot of people because you don't want to have a bunch of different episodes downloaded locally to your device. That way they will take a ton of storage and of course leave you with no storage for other stuff. And of course we have also a new button on the stocks app to play later on the news so when you go to news here if you're using news plus you will be able to play later directly from the stocks app and there's also a new icon in safari so if you just go to safari on a web page you try to find something on a page you can see this icon has been totally redesigned and now let's move on to the important stuff First of all, performance on iOS 15.5 has been really good. I had this update on my device since beta 1 and it didn't have any problems with performance whatsoever. Of course, it's 15.5 so you would expect that to happen. And on the newer devices, you usually don't have those big problems that older devices might have. The only thing I really don't like is this bug hasn't been fixed yet, the storage bug, it just keeps coming back to iOS 15. I don't know why Apple is not just like figuring out how to do this. You can just see right here doesn't load the storage at all. Sometimes it will stay like this. Sometimes it takes minutes. Sometimes it will load faster, but it's never, never stable. And when talking about battery life, Keep this in mind, if you have iOS 15.4.1 on your device, expect about the exact same battery life on iOS 15.5 as well. There is only one problem, which of course you can see on the title of the video as well, and that's the battery health. Now since yesterday when this was released to the public, and of course a lot of people have installed it on their device, people are seeing that the percentage of battery health which you can find right here actually the maximum capacity is dropping after updating it didn't happen in my case here it didn't have it did actually happen to me when i updated to iOS 15.4 so a lot of people are thinking that that drop is caused by iOS 15.5 well, actually, that is true because when you update, it will cause that to happen, but it's not the fault of this particular update, iOS 15.5. So what's happening here? 
basically every time you update your device your iphone will go through a checkup it will basically check all its components like it will do the speakers the microphones the cameras the battery as well and of course will give you an estimate right here for the maximum capacity of your battery and of course this is not checked every day it your iphone will check the maximum capacity when you update it that's why after an update you will see this drop maybe a point maybe even more if your iphone has stayed unupdated for a long time this will happen mainly on newer devices because if you have a device that has a really old battery you can even notice that dropping throughout the days but with newer devices every time you update your iphone will check the battery for its maximum capacity and give you an estimate right here because this is not that accurate at all so you see a lot of people say that they have 100 percent of battery health on their device for a really long time and they actually do i had 100 percent of battery health on this device for like eight or nine months after i bought it usually that wouldn't shouldn't happen but what happens here is that the rated maximum capacity of the battery of the iphone and any other devices not just the iphone basically is theoretical so the iphones will ship all with different capacities of the battery that they have of course that they can be charged so if let's say the battery theoretically is three three thousand million powers it might have way more so your iphone won't actually drop the maximum capacity here until that battery drops to 3000 and then lower than 3000 because that's the theoretical capacity that that battery has so that's why it's that happening so your iphone's battery might be basically a battery that contains more minimum power so it will have a larger capacity than other batteries because none of them will have exactly the same capacity even though theoretically they all have a set capacity that they ship with as far as the future goes for ios 15.5 i see apple releasing a few minor updates throughout the summer this will be the last big update to ios 15 and of course the last big update for people who have an iphone 6s 6s plus or the original iphone se as their device won't be supported by ios 16 so they will have to stay with ios 15.5 hopefully in the future apple will release some minor update basically to fix all the problems that the software currently has and polish the software so those people with other with all their devices will have a great experience using their device so of course always there's a question when a new update is released should you update or not of course you should this is quite a good update it has some small changes and features but overall is really good and don't worry about the battery health dropping that's not actually a problem of this software it's basically something that happens when you update your device and it always will every time you update your device you will see the battery percentage basically the maximum battery capacity changing on your device so that's basically it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this leave a like on this one and i will see you guys on the next video